played as the Blue Zerg, it's Raynor. And in the top left, as the Red Terran, it's Razor Blader. <laughs> uh, from the glances I've gotten at the bracket, at the list of competitors today, I think Raynor is pretty much our favorite to win the tournament. Uh, I think Harstum is going to reach round of four for sure. And this is going to be pretty much a repeat of what we saw last week. I believe. Rainer opens hatch gas pool. Razor Blader is finishing up his racks. And it looks like Rainer's just going to get out your standard fueling, standard two queens, send out a single drone to expand. In comes the Reaper, Razor Blader, pretending like he doesn't want to block, but he gets the hatch block off. The Reaper will kill the drone. Oh, look at the extractor block. So if you put one unit here, you actually can't build a gas extractor um, razor blader able to sneak out the kill against Rainer. Rainer is inarguably one of the best Zergs in the world. Razor Blader off to a very good start, considering the caliber of his opponent. Uh, Razor Blader is nothing to sneer at either, but I mean, you look at Rainer's tournament results, and most people on the planet uh, stack up a little bit differently in the equation to Rainer than they might someone like Skillless or like. I don't know, I'd, like Bly maybe. Um, Rainer and Serral and Dark and Rogue, well, Dark and Rogue to lesser extents. Uh, Dark and Rogue like play at the top of the meta, but the way players like Rainer and Serral play aren't even within the Zerg meta. They just, they have such raw mechanical skill that they can play entirely differently from other players. And you're like, yeah, no, they can just do that because they're Rainer, because they're Serral. Uh, Razor Blader has a fusion core totally scouted. Starport swaps on to the tech lab and uh, Yeah, some Hellions poke at the front of our Zerg player. Razor Blader is still going to commit to this battle cruiser despite being totally scouted.
Rainer is kind of escorting his creep tumors out onto the map with his roaches. Speed Overlord gets another scout just to make sure Rainer knows what the Terran's up to. There's the blink across the map from Razor Blader. Rainer is moving to respond. Zero kills on the BC so far. This is like the world's most ineffectual BC, man. He's like virgin BC. Usually BCs have like 13 kills now, and they're bullying queens. They've killed like two queens, and they blink across for repair, and they're already back on the side of the map. This one hasn't gotten a kill yet. It's just kind of sitting out here on creep. Zerg's just seeing it, reacting to it with queens. It's not going to be able to pick off the Overlord, even if it engaged there. There's too much transfuse. Rainer can save it. The Hellion's not doing much better on the other side either. There's too much transfuse for this BC to engage these queens. I think the blink... Oh, blink is just in the nick of time. One more queen shot and it would have gone down. Uh, Roach Ravager is here to attack into the Terran, just as Razor Blader wants to drop his third at the 720 mark. And while Rainer's going to have a hard time breaking in here... Oh, no, he's not. No, he's not. He moves in right when Razor Blader tries to reposition his army. And these Marines are going, I'm in a world of hurt, uh, as... You know, Razor Blader is trading pretty effectively against the Roaches for now, but there just isn't enough on the field for the Terran to engage without that Siege Tank fire. That said, he does retreat back to the Siege Tank, but now there's not enough bio to cover for it. Down goes the Siege Tank, and it's just scattered reinforcements uh, running to the front for Razor Blader. There is high ground vision for the Zerg. Down goes the tank. Down goes the wall. GG is called. In the bottom left corner of Zen, as the Red Terran, it's Razor Blader. And in the top right corner, as a blue zerg, it's Raynor. Uh, Razorblader saying, I suck on these old maps uh, in the pregame lobby. Um, yeah, I mean, this is clearly Raynor's pick of map. Uh, I'm a little bit surprised Razor Blader... Well, he's a Terran. Terran can engage the Zerg here. But right away, we see the pool first from Rainer. Aw, oh, jeez. I can't believe it. It's a Zerg cheesing on Zen. Who would have ever thought that? But wait! Razor Blader is going proxy two racks. At least two racks. Rainer, is he going to scout it? It looks like he will scout it. And he's perfectly poised to counter this with his pool first. Oh, man. So this is a round of 32 match. Uh, the winner is going to advance to the round of 16. This tournament's just trucking. Already about halfway over. Um, in a little over an hour. So I'm sure there's going to be one part of the bracket lagging behind, but... So far, this is very quick to get th through uh, three rounds of the tournament. Rainer's being very careful to make sure he doesn't lose any of his links. He's trying to come in from behind and pick off the reinforcements that are heading uh, forward to the bunker. 
trying to see if he can find an angle. He's actually going to go across the map and harass the wall. Now, he's not going to get a kill through the wall. He's very unlikely to break through. This is going to force Razor Blader to pull some of his SCVs to repair that wall. That, of course, means fewer minerals reinforced to the front. Rainer goes for a roach horn. He gets out a bunch of roaches. He shuts down the forward bunker. And this is looking unstoppable from Rainer. Yeah, there's the SCV pool. He needs to make sure he repairs on the left here as well, but he's trying to manage this attack at the front as well as Rainer gets Ravagers out onto the map. He's fully saturating two gases in his main, sitting on 18 workers. Four SCVs now pulled off the line to the wall. A fifth one thinks about joining the fight, but it goes back to mining gas. And a factory with a tech lab going down back home for Razor Blader. There's the salvage on the bunker, and Razor Blader has abandoned his attack. Rainer is just going to counterattack with Roach Ravager. Uh, some Marines do force the Lings away, but Rainer keeps them alive. The young Italian Zerg is just so good. So good. Bunker is finishing on the high ground for Razor Blader. And the Cyclone is about to pop, so Razor Blader has a pretty good chance of holding this. The Cyclone... Oh, it pops onto a Ravager, which I guess is a nice pick, but it really wanted to lock onto that Overlord uh, to prevent the Zerg from getting high ground vision and knocking down the wall. Pair is pulled for the Cyclone. One Supply Depot down. Luckily for Razor Blader, the Lings aren't quite in position to flood in yet. Oh, seconds. Yeah, there's no walling to stop anymore. This is broken. Uh, the Terran's going to have a little bit more of a difficult time holding this. The second Cyclone will be out to try and kite against these Ravagers. Rainer has a third hatch about halfway done and is heavily up in economy against Razor Blader. Razor Blader is going to move out his second CC and check and see if he can't even up the odds a little bit. But the Terran's options are really limited here. Rainer's like, hey, wait a second, no, don't kill my drones. The efficiency of play from our Zerg is really what's winning him the game. Over build orders or anything else. Because the build order that Rainer did can go completely sideways uh, for a Zerg that doesn't know how to deal with it too well. The lanes get a surround on the Cyclones, the Ravagers are going to target them down, and there is a battle cruiser on the map for Razor Blader, but he's going to eat quite a bit of damage before he's able to clean up all these Ravagers. Lyle is most likely going to force the BC out of position at some point. You can see Razor Blader trying to keep the battle cruiser over the Ravagers so it can't get Bile down, but GG is called. 